Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game today. This is Hard, The Circle Undone. We're playing uh, In the Clutches of Chaos with Zoe and Daisy. This is the um, penultimate scenario in the Circle Undone campaign. Uh, so we are here because uh, we failed the last scenario and uh, Annette became uh, empowered. She got possessed and so now we have a big showdown with her that we have to deal with while she opens portals everywhere. So, um, if you look in the look in the links below, you will see uh, a link to my deck upgrade video where you can see the changes I made to the decks and how we got here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and uh, get started. So, uh, Zoe is taking um, on stick to the plan. She's going to be taking ever vigilant, dodge, and fool me once. So we have some treachery removal. We have uh, some defense, and then of course we have our economy card. So we're gonna draw up uh, five cards for her and see what we got. Okay, what we got. Okay, uh, oh the tower has to stay. Well, that is unfortunate. Um, do we throw back evidence? I guess we do we're not too worried about getting close at the beginning. Okay, Guts is good. All right, so this is a great open hand. Uh, I didn't talk about it, but having both of our weapons lets us uh, heal horror. We have a safeguard, which will let us you know, move around and save actions. Tower, we have to keep, and that'll stay in our hand uh, until, we can, uh, until we can get rid of it, and it will prevent us from uh, committing cards. Daisy drawing her seven cards because of Studious. Okay. Uh, okay, Shortcut is going to be awesome. Otherworldly Codex. I don't know if that's particularly useful right away. Nor is Knowledge is Power. Nor is Deduction because we're really not getting clues. Uh, emergency cash right at the beginning. I mean, a card. Yeah. A card and some resources. Read the signs. I'm thinking I'm going to throw it back. We'll keep the word of protection. No, we're going to throw it because I really, I would love to try and give the best shot I can to getting uh, the tarot in her opening hand. So we're replacing uh, four cards. Five cards. Okay. So we get another shortcut. Another emergency cash. Encyclopedia. Well, at least we'll have lots of resources. We'd not get the tarot, but we'll be able to get Encyclopedia into play. Um, so, pretty pretty happy with this, and hopefully we can pull a rook or something. Shuffle these back in. All right, let's look at the agenda. This is the chariot. First, when Doom would be placed on this agenda, instead place one breach on a number of different random locations equal to one more than the number of investigators. So every round, instead of placing Doom, we've got to reverse all these breaches and, and put them on random cards, which we will do uh, using a, I have a, I have a D10 here. That will roll and we'll have uh, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the nine and the zero will re roll. Just easier than shuffling cards. Usually I use a randomized program on my phone, but that doesn't show very well on a video, so we're going to use this D10 instead. Um, so this is like Pandemic when those breaches, uh, when there's three, four, when you put your fourth breach, then it kind of explodes like it does in Pandemic. And that's kind of the mechanic here. I assume people know it, but. Just a brief overview. Um, so yeah, that in this force, when a breach would be placed on a location with three breach breaches, instead resolve an incursion at that location. It means we put a doom on it, and then we, you know, explode out to the areas around. And then uh, we have this is the Annette version uh, of this act. Um, we're looking for six clues. Uh, the state of the city continues to decay. Breaches in reality began to rip through the fabric of the earth, and a faint melody of discordant pipes can be heard throughout the streets. For every trigger, you can remove three breaches from this act and place one clue on a random location. So um, we can clean up breaches by basically discarding cards or taking tests. 
which we will see. Um, and then objective, when the investigators have collected the records of number clues, they must immediately spend them in advance. When this act advances, move all the breaches uh, on it to the next act. Okay, and so the next thing we have to do is twice we have to uh, place two breaches. I believe it's two, let me check. Get ye old instruction book. And just as a note, um, on Board Game Geek, you can find, uh, I have this really cool, like this is what I'm using for the manual here. This is printed on some vials from Board Game Geek and uh, really a big fan of it, really good quality, you know, uh, and you can, there's some instructions on how to get Lulu Express to use, to, to print these. And that's what I've been using for the campaign guide. Really, uh, really appreciate that. Uh, Anyway, um, I uh, am going to be rolling uh, the die uh, to put two breaches, and then we do it again. So we get, okay, a breach. I'm going to use horror tokens for the breaches. Make them easy to kind of stand out. So we put one on one. Okay, this is number two. Okay, we can't do the same one twice in a row. So in the set. Okay, so we got, uh, looks like a two here. So we'll put one on two. Okay, now we do the process again. So we could get one or two again as we repeat the process. Okay, we got four. And last one is two. So like I said, we could get, oh, I've already got it marked as a two there. Okay, so there's two, two breaches there. So we kind of got to make our way up there and see. All right, so finally, we'll just look at south side and see what south side is. Um, we can choose and discard any number of cards from your hand. For each card discarded this way, move one breach from the south side to the current act. There's no breaches here, so we're probably okay. All right, so we definitely want Zoe to go first because we want to get Safeguard out, and then she can just move around with uh, with Daisy. Uh, so we we I, I think I want to go ahead and play the Tower of Weapon and Safeguard. That's going to be these three cards. We get a discount if we use Ever Vigilant on all of them. So it's three, one, and two. So we'll take a resource, bring us to six, and then we'll play use Ever Vigilant to play the Tower for three, Safeguard for one. Uh, that's four. That uh, is four, and then the Enchanted Blade that brings us up to six. We have one action left. So now the question is, do we want to take a resource so we can get this meat cleaver down quicker or do we want to draw a card? Um, the only, yeah, the weaknesses that are in there aren't wouldn't be bad first to last. Uh, I'd rather just see some cards because cards could be useful now that we can come in with a test for the tower, maybe to, to help Daisy out. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're just gonna draw a card and we get Another enchanted blade. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to be hurting for weapons. Famous last words, right? All right. So that is turn. Daisy will go ahead and spend two resources. Yes, three to put out encyclopedia. Then for fast, she will spend. One resource to put down path or a shortcut here. She will use it to move up here. We want to find out what, what we need to do in River Town. If it's an intellect test, she can probably do it with Encyclopedia. So moving up here, and uh, Zoe will use Safeguard to go with her. And this is a three shroud, zero clues. You can choose and discard a card from your hand. Move one breach from River Town to the current act, plus one additional breach for each. Intellect icon on that card. Okay, so we're gonna need some intellect icons. It's unfortunate it's not a test. <clears throat> so we could get rid of both breaches with a uh, premonition, which seems good. So we will go ahead and uh, we'll ditch we'll ditch premonition because it has the uh, intellect icon. Gets rid of both of these breaches, and we'll put two on here. Uh, 
All right. So we have taken, that is our second action. Um, our third action, I think we'll move to the merchant district just so we can figure out what it is we're going to need to do there. Uh, I have this emergency cash that I could use to draw a card, but we could draw into the stubborn detective and that would be less than ideal. So we'll move and Zoe moves with her as she does. And this is, okay, it can spend two resources, move one breach from merchant district to the current act. Ooh, this is going to be expensive. All right. Zoe's probably the one to pay for that. Oh, hey, we should have actually spent all our resources. All right, so that is Daisy's last act. And we are good to go. So uh, upkeep, Zoe will draw a scene of the crime. Okay, Mo probably we'll end up using this to commit it or to discard uh, for Rivertown. And then she'll get a resource. Daisy, and knowledge is power. All right. So we can activate the uh, encyclopedia twice if we need to. All right, so instead of uh, doing doom, now we do, we have to put three breaches. So we're gonna roll. One is, that is a nine, which is not a valid one. Okay, we get an eight, that is valid. Okay, that's number one. I put it off to the side until we're done with this process so we can remember what we've done. Zero is invalid. Got a zero again. Nine again. Two. Okay. Let's uh, do this shortcut. We'll move uh, this tank up here. Okay. So we're going to breach back on Rivertown. Okay. And. Last one is a six, which goes in the French Hill. All right. And then we are drawing counter cards. Zoe will get wrapped. Okay, we have to test three willpower. Let's break the racked. And Daisy will get be deviled. Wow. My goodness. Okay. Uh, you cannot trigger action abilities on the cards you control. Well, that stinks because <laughs> that is the way I was going to break the racked was with uh, was by triggering her encyclopedia. Now we could use knowledge as power to, to do it, but that doesn't seem ideal. Uh, so how do we do this? The bag is pretty good if we're up by three and we, we could be at four, five, six to be three, but we have uh, one action. So uh, I think Zoe is going to test her racked. Actually, she's going to test uh, Daisy's the devil. It's, it's more of a problem. She is at uh, three B three, and then we'll next time we'll commit uh, this guts. So three B three. We just want to get rid of this racked. The 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 downside to the racked, and she got a negative two, so she fails. Okay, so now we're not at negative one anymore. We are going to commit the guts to clear uh, Daisy's uh, the devil. So we're at four, five, six to beat three. Okay, minus three. We are successful. The devil is gone. And we have to draw a card from Guts, which is another Guts. Okay, well, we will just test her Racked, community the Guts. At uh, six v three. That is one uh, higher than the uh, amount of doom and breaches on your location, which is, so it makes it a two because there's one breach. 
So we uh, get rid of the racks and we draw a card, which is Daring. We need some enemies for that to matter. All right, now that is her turn. Okay, so Daisy is going to play Emergency Cash. She gets three resources and draws a card, which is going to be Read the Signs. She will spend, okay, as a, as a free trigger, she'll spend two resources. What, are there supposed to be three reaches there? Doesn't seem right. Yeah, I don't think I did that. So we're moving one and putting this here. Now we can use this free trigger. There's three reaches, we can remove them and we can put a clue on a random location. So we'll do that. Okay, uh, that is an eight, which is actually okay. So. Here we go. So we kind of want to make our way down there, I guess, to pick up that clue. All right. Uh, so we have taken one action, which was, we have taken, yeah, which was to play the emergency cash. All right. So uh, Daisy will move and Zoe will safeguard to go with her and we'll see what's in Uptown. Okay, we have to test two agility for each point you succeed by, remove one breach from the uptown. Okay. So I think we want to do that, but not right now. It's a good target for um, uh, for Encyclopedia and maybe Knowledge is Power to pop up really high. Uh, do we want to make our way towards the Solar Twilight Lodge? All right, I do not know. Well, we can, let's see, we've taken one action, two actions. Okay, we've taken two actions so far. We will spend a resource for a fast action to put the, the shortcut down and we will shortcut to here and then shortcut down and let's see what's in uh, South Church. And of course, Zoe is going with. So South Church is a uh, once round, zero clue location, you can take an action to draw the top card of the encounter deck, remove all breaches from South Church, and it's also got to resign. So. We will uh, encyclopedia her intellect, because there's no reason not to, and investigate to get that clue. There's a negative five in the bag, so this will help us beat the negative five. So we're going at 71. Okay, that would, that's uh, negative two, so we get the clue. Alrighty then, uh, not too bad. Everything readies up. We will get stunning blow. Now lots of enemy management because that's what Zoe does. Okay, she's got uh, not four resources. She's got two resources. Daisy will pick up the black book. Oh, we definitely want to get that into play if we can. And we will ready our shortcuts. And now we have to place three more breaches. Okay, we get an eight. So we're gonna put a breach right where we're at, which is probably gonna work out okay. And we get a zero, which is not valid. We get a two. Okay, so that's a good thing for um, Zoe to use. Actually, here, let's put one to the side. I'm trying to remember my method to not forget things. Okay, and then a zero is invalid. And an eight, we can't do it because we've already got one this round. And another two, which we can't do. And a six, okay. So six is here, right? And so, all right, there we go. Oh, and then we're drawing counter cards. All right. And as Zoe will get. On Wings of Darkness, we're going to test Port Intellect. It's going to move us to the south side. So, not ideal. Damage and horror, but it's fine. 
All right, we're testing at 2v4. All right, that is minus two, so we take a damage and a horror. And we are going to spend one resource to play uh, Fool Me Once on that. Attach it to it. Because that's just really annoying. It's it's going to be a free damage and horror on either one of those in Julie test. So there may be better, better targets, but taking it out of the card pool is just is just good. So we're doing that. Okay, and then Daisy will get a Diabolic Voices. She has to test three willpower for each point. She's going to discard one random card from her hand. Well, we've got that black book. It's not good. We could deny existence on this, though. So we're going at... It's a 3v3. Okay, minus five. Well, yes, deny existence. We do not want to discard three cards at cards from our three cards at random from our. So we're going to discard deny existence, and we're in pretty good shape. So I think what's going to happen now is uh, Zoe is going to go first. She's going to move to South Church, and she will clear the breaches here by drawing an encounter card, and then she can tag along with uh, Daisy wherever Daisy wants to go. So Zoe so will move here. She'll take the action to, to you draw the encounter card first, I guess, right? Draw the top card of the encounter deck, yep. Okay, this is Primordial Gateway. Attach to a random location, place breaches on the location until there are exactly three breaches on it. And then you treat the attached location if it's printed text box for blank, except for traits. And then you can test uh, intellect or willpower four to close the gateway, okay? So, here we go, we are getting a zero, which we have to, that zero comes up a lot. Who shuffled this deck? Okay, eight, so that is interesting because it says treat it as if it's blank. I do not know if we get to remove this um, because yeah, I guess it's blank so we don't get to actually resolve that. So we're going to go ahead and say that we don't get to remove that Grim rule it. I should probably check that. So it gets here. Okay. And that is what it is. Okay. So yuck. So Zoe has one last action. I don't think she can break that primordial gateway. So I'm inclined to just grab a resource so that we can potentially, because we're not going to grab like a guts or anything. So let's uh, grab a resource that will allow us to at least play this meat cute cleaver at some point. So, okay. So now Daisy is going to spend three resources to play the black book which is going to uh, move her intellect up to six. She's going to tap Encyclopedia to boost her intellect by two more. So she is at eight. So we're testing Primordial Gateway at eight B3. Oh no. Oh no, negative five. Okay. Um, all right, we're going at eight, B3 again. <laughs> okay, whatever. Eight B4, I should say. All right, so we, we just need to do a better job of shuffling the deck, I guess. Okay, so that was her entire turn. Gross. All right. All right, uh, so Zoe will draw her cross, which is nice, and get a resource. 
I just hope we don't breach this this turn. Honestly, okay, and then uh, Daisy will get. She's got a plan. No clues to use it. That's another card that she gets her away for icons. Okay, so we don't want to see an eight here. So we're resolving three. Eight! Okay. Okay, well, we get a Doom. And this spreads out to at least that one. It's kind of self, it's kind of, kind of contained. Okay, uh, and then here we go for number two is we got a seven. So that puts one here. And we get a four. All right, so four is going to be up here. Okay, and then we draw on counter cards. All right, one of seven doom. Okay, we got a demonic piping. This goes next to the agenda. And then we it surges into evil past. Okay, they're gonna take horror when the uh, deck runs out. And Daisy. Uh, we had to back up here because I resolved the uh, wrong card. I <laughs> so what she actually got here was a, a chaos manifest. It three willpower plus one branch on X different locations where X is the amount B failed by. This is going probably less than stellar. She's at four V three. Um, Klein just to take it. I don't think any of this is going to cause things to explode, so we're probably okay. Okay. Uh, so that is one tumor location. We fail by one. Because it's, it makes it a negative two. Okay. So one region of random location is nine, which is not valid. Okay, is seven. So that's up here. All right, so we've got lots of work to do. So we definitely want, okay, so the first thing she wants to do, we want to get rid of this card because it's just going to cause us to be a pain. We're going to uh, boost her intellect. We're at eight before, so we're up by four. Elder sign, we get to draw two cards and it's gone. And so she will get premonition and a guts. Okay. Cards I like to have. Okay, so we have boosted her intellect. We will move to south side. We, you know, there's nothing to do. And Daisy is always will safeguard to go with her. At safe side, we need to discard two cards from our hand. Zoe will ditch. Her stunning blow to get rid of one. She can take a free trigger during this action. And then Daisy, I think gets rid of read the signs. No, we want to, yeah, read the signs. Uh, to remove this other, so now we've got. Yeah, maybe I should just keep using the horror over here. I think that makes more sense. I'm trying to make it easy to see. Okay, so we take action one. Those are free triggers. Taking two action was to move. We will um, shortcut up to here, up to Rivertown. And then we can ditch this. Uh, I've got a plan to remove two more breaches, which will give us four and we can resolve one of those to put a clue on a random location. Here we go, right? Clue on a random location. Okay, and this is six. We have a clue here. Okay. We will uh, spend three resources to play a meat cleaver. So we have both of our weapons out. We will grab a resource and spend that resource to play her cross. And that is good. Okay, I'll ready everything up. We will uh, draw a card, which is gonna be evidence. That is gonna be nice for clearing. 
consequently intellect icons. Okay, and then Daisy will get Mr. Rook. Okay, got some stubborn detective action soon to be coming up, I think. Okay, uh, now let's resolve three more of these guys. Okay, that is eight. Again, because apparently I don't know how to roll a die. Is there a technique about rolling dice that I'm missing? Okay, two. Okay, so they can throw away a card while they're there. And one. All right, cool. That's not too bad. Nothing's threatening to explode right now. So we're gonna words. So we will get another demonic piping. Well, it's like that thing might be coming out, but that's okay. That's victory points if it does. And we get a century of secrets. Okay, so this is just test willpower. If we fail, we're gonna take a damage. We can handle some damage. We're at 4v5. That is minus three for each point you fill by, remove one breach from the current act. So we were at, we fill by three, fell by a lot. We, we have to remove this breach from the current act. Not a big deal. Um, but we have to discard four cards, and if we get a uh, curse, then we have to take a damage. So hex, two curse, three, four, and five. Okay. So we take a damage, not too bad. And then Daisy will get Toil and Trouble. You must either, this is a peril, resolve, so we can't talk about this. Resolve the most, uh, top most power treachery in the encounter. Okay, well, we're probably gonna do that because we don't want to resolve an incursion. So let's see what we got here. Power is going to be the primordial gateway. We've done one of these before, so we got to put this somewhere. Okay, so that's fine. All right, that's a six, so we're putting it here, I guess. Not too bad. Okay, so I think we go there first and see what we can come up with and see what it is. But we'll probably just try to boost that. Okay, yeah. All right, so we will move here and again, that's already to safeguard to go with her and let's see who's at French Hill. So this is, you're going to choose a card from your card, move one breach, French Hill, to the current act, plus one additional breach for each willpower icon on that card. Okay. So we um, we just need, it's not too bad. All right. So we got to break this uh, primordial gateway. And she has a guts that she could use to remove all three of those if we break it. This means we can't get out, Mr. Rook. Now, what is what does Zoe have? I mean, she could toss a daring, I suppose, but that seems less than ideal. Okay. Anyway, she's going to boost her intellect. So we are at this is her second action. And we're at uh, five eight B four again. That is the number one higher, so it's minus four. So we still pass. Oof. I didn't think about that. Okay, now the thing is we could get out Mr. Rook. And, like, Zoe could just ditch one of, like, an evidence to just clear one of those breaches. And, and that way we're getting... We're, we're getting damage soaks online, we're getting cards, we're potentially 
Um, yeah, I think I think I like that. So for her last action, she's going to play Mr. Rook with his three secrets, and then we'll have him look through. We'll go through the top nine cards. Okay. Oh, we got a Pathfinder would be nice. Necronomicon. Oh, we got the Necronomicon. Okay. Okay, so let's see what else. What are these things that we'd want to grab? Um, boy, Pathfinder sure would be good if we can save up for it. Oh, mm, I think, yeah. We'll go ahead and grab the Pathfinder. We have the emergency cash actually still. So we can play that and get it out. Okay, huh. I think there's always going to draw and see if she can get a willpower icon, and then of course she can uh, ditch like an evidence or a scene of crime. Let's just get rid of one of those. So she's going to draw a card. She gets oh well, that is a willpower icon, but not one we want to lose. She will go ahead and ditch uh, scene of the crime. Let's remove one of these. I didn't realize this, actually, the uh, Necronomicon would kick the Black Book out. So, I should have thought about that. But, it is what it is. Not my, my, my most brilliant moment. Okay, uh, so we could ditch one more card, but I think we're okay. Uh, and I, I want to take a resource, because I want to get closer to where we could... Um, where we can get Brother Xavier out. That would help us with like passing willpower stuff. So we'll take a resource. Okay, and we'll ready everything up. Boy, actually, I'm really not liking that play. I should have waited for her tote bag or something. Uh, okay, anyway, Daisy will grab, or Zoe will grab another safeguard, which does nothing. But it's a willpower icon, so that's a thing. All right, and then uh, Daisy will get knowledge is power. All right, well. All right, let's resolve. Let's do some, play some breaches. Okay, we get one. So putting one here. Five, that's right in the middle. How many times are we going to roll this? Okay, two. All right, we got two. Yeah, this one's over. This one's over. And actually, we were going to put murder monkeys with those. Okay. Alrighty then. Now we're going to resolve some cards. We get Diabolic Voices for, uh, she's going to have to discard cards at random from her hand. Oh my goodness. All right, we can commit the safeguard to it, but why? When uh, it, it, <laughs> it just ends up being one of the cards that we discard. So we're at uh, four V, I think there's two of these. Or one of these. Yes, yeah, so we're at four V, four. Might end up discarding our entire hand. Elder sign is plus one. Okay, we pass. Amazing. We do an extra damage to that treachery. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. Chaos manifest. I feel like we've just. Oh, this is okay. Test three willpower plus one breach on. Okay, what's the amount you fail by? All right, so we're at 3v3 because of. Uh, and we'll commit guts because we lost our black book. Okay, so we're uh, two up on this. Minus two, we pass, so we get to actually draw a card. Nice. 
So we'll draw. Okay, a tarot. Not too bad. I think Zoe does want to go. She can clear off two of those with safeguard, then she can grab a resource and be ready to play. You have two resources and should be ready to play uh, Xavier next turn. So Zoe will discard a safeguard. Let's clear these two, which lets us put a clue. So let's see where that clue is going to go. Okay, it goes on location number two. Which I think we're going there. So cool. All right, second action and third action, she's just going to grab two resources. Okay, so uh, Daisy is going to spend, she's going to play Emergency Cash to get three resources and draw a card, which is a Mind Over Matter. She will spend three resources to play Pathfinder. We do not want Stubborn Detect yet. We will Pathfinder to go here. Let's see, I think Zoe will ditch the, her evidence. It's a free trigger to move this off. Then we will use, oh, we were safeguarding to go with, yes. Then a uh, shortcut to move up. And we have one election left, right? So, we can uh, discard a knowledge is power to get rid of these two breaches, which creates another clue. Which is at location eight. Because of course it is. Okay, so that's cool. And then we will take her free action. This uh, Necronomicon should have. We'll take her free action to take or good knowledge is power to take another one. We're not going to do that. Okay. I really want it for the extra boost to be able to clear. We might just give up town. We just might forget it. But okay. Um, so Zoe will draw another scene of crime. A resource. And Daisy. Otherworldly Codex. We could get rid of that evil past. Could be nice. Yeah, it could be very useful. Um, but we have to clear the Necronomicon before we can put it out. Or get Daisy's Tote back. And we have to have resources to play it. All these things. Alright, so now let's uh, put some more breaches. We get uh, three. I think that's the first one of those. Seven. That is going to become a problem. And five. Okay, five is not too much of a problem yet. Goodness, those words, right? Okay. So I think we do need to come in and clear this one. Right, draw some encounter cards. We'll get a Coven Initiate. Okay, let's the top two cards in the encounter deck. All right. So we get Terror Unleashed and Witness of Chaos. Okay. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and Zoe's cross her. And we can heal and heal horror with a meat cleaver. So she's going to play do a damage to the witch. And then Daisy will draw. Oh, there's a witness. Yeah, so spawn at the location with the fewest breaches. Uh, that would be either their location or French Hill. Okay, so let's do this. Put her here. And we will put each there. So I'm inclined to just evade and get out of here. 
and do this one. I can do that. Prevent it from exploding. Do we care that much? Oh, you know, I didn't go over this. Yeah, it's 442 with a victory point one. Yeah, I think Zoe Daisy does want to go first. And so she will spend her one resource to play Mind Over Matter. And she will evade at 5v2. Okay, that is minus three. We pass. So this guy is evaded. All right, so now what are we going to do? We are going to use Encyclopedia to boost Zoe's uh, fight. So Zoe gets plus two fight. Then we are going to Pathfinder here at French Hill. So that's, we have taken only one action, which was to evade. We will move to the Solar Twilight Lodge, which I believe has clues on it. Okay, and then it's a four shroud, two clue location. So victory point one. And we can take horror to remove breaches. Two clues there. Let's see, well sure we uh We'll for sure take a horror onto Mr. Rook, one of those there. So go for the trigger. We want to do two horror. We might later. Let's see, we've taken. We've got. Well, we're going to go ahead and use the action on the Necronomicon because I just I want to clear it. So we get this other worldly codex into play. And that is her turn. All right, it's time for Zoe. So Zoe's got this fight buff. So she's at four, five, six, and she'll use her meat cleaver to be a seven to beat two. drama it fell off the table but she actually got an elder sign so she overkilled it as you do which heals in horror from her then she will spend six resources to play brother Xavier out so we actually have a nice ally here we'll put, and then um, I guess we'll just we'll stack up the Enchanted Blade and a Meat Cleaver. Since we don't have to exhaust the Meat Cleaver. All right. And then she'll take her last action. She's going to take a swipe with the Enchanted Blade. She's at four, five, six, seven, eight. Because she's got two from babies. She's going to get eight. V, what is it? Exhausted, eight V4. Seems good. Okay, we're only going to do one damage because we can take one damage uh, when we ready and she can use Zoe's cross on it and then we can use a charge to kill it. So, all right, um, everything readies. It re-engages her. She will use her cross to do a second damage to it. And then we will draw cards that we will get vicious blow and a resource did I spend I spent too much for uh, Xavier right I spent six and he's only five so we actually have two resources there then Daisy will get another mind over matter and a resource All right, now we will resolve three breaches. Okay, this is two. Which Zoe can probably handle that, actually. And Daisy will get a one, a 
Okay, so that one's getting dangerous. Very dangerous. And then I said Daisy will get, but they're not like assigned to anything. I don't know why I was thinking that was Daisy. Okay, zero is invalid. And a seven. So we'll play another one here. All right. This goes to two, and this goes to three. Oh man. Could be bad times. Okay. Uh, so we will get this encounter card, which is a racked. Okay. All right. We're as you do in uh, TCU, storing up those guys. And Zoe's or Daisy's gonna get a Coven Initiate. We just probably lost two cards. Okay. All right. So we have Daisy go first. She's going to spend her resource, as we did last time, on Mind Over Matter. And we're going to evade. is evaded. Dissipation. That's actually one. I think we will just go ahead and take all three horror here. No, we'll take two of the horror. So that was that was free, and then we oh we get to we get to, that puts two on there, and we get to resolve another one. So let's see where we get our next clue. We have enough clues out that we can actually do things. Um, this is how much we care about victory points. We got another demonic piping though that should be coming out like soon. I didn't see one go by when we were discarding. Okay, so what are we done? We've taken one action was to evade. Yeah, we can we can deal with that. Later. Let's let's deal with this victory point guy. Or lady, I suppose. It's almost like Palatine to me, but whatever. Okay, we will Pathfinder here. We will move here. So that was your second action. Third action, we will clear the Necronomicon, taking a horror. And then we will Encyclopedia Zoe. So let's do some fighting Zoe. All right. So Zoe is uh, at, actually, we didn't need to buff her, did we? Because Zoe's got Daring, which is pretty good. Okay, instead of doing that, we'll just rewind for a second. Um, we'll clear the Necronomicon, taking that horror. We will boost our intellect, get us 5, 6, 7, V4, and we will investigate. So we've taken action evade, action Clear to boost. Okay, and this is our last action. We're gonna investigate three up. Okay, that is one higher than one, so we get a clue. And then, yeah, then we will Pathfinder out. That makes more sense. Okay. So, um, Zoe, she's got this racked. Uh, so we can use the Enchanted Blade. We're at four. If we four, five, six to be four, seven, eight, nine, it'll be eight to be four because it's racked, which is fine. Minus two. We'll use a charge on the enchanted blade. We will heal horror. We will draw a card. Just ace of frauds. And the witness of chaos goes into the victory display. Okay, and that was one action. Second action, we will discard scene of the crime to get rid of these two. 
And then third action, we could try to clear our racked. We're at uh, four, five, seven, yeah, that's good. Next action, we'll move here and we'll spend her two resources to move a breach and which generates another clue. We just start getting clues and be done with it, right? Uh, that is a nine, which is invalid. Six. Got to see where Daisy is at. Okay. I just ready everything. We will draw a card for Zoe. Look at the hallowed mirror. We could play it. Heal some of Daisy's horror. And then Daisy will get. Okay, Caro. But no resource to pay for it. I foolishly used all of my resources. All right, and then Zoe will get. Primarial gateway attached to a random location. Oh wait, wait, wait! Before we have to do this, we need to resolve breaches. Okay, we get a nine, not valid. We get a six, not valid. Oh wait, actually, a six is valid, but I rolled it again, so that's fine. Okay, so six is where Daisy's at. Five. Okay. That is a seven. So that to there, one there to here. All right. Now we get the primordial gateway, which we already saw, attached to a random location. That location is going to be hopefully one. It's number four. I think we just let that one go because that one's the agility one, and that's just going to be hard for us to break. So we just want to make sure it doesn't uh, doesn't like have problems when it. Okay, and then Daisy will get Terror Unleashed. If there's no breaches in your combo location. Place one breach in the location. You must take X damage or horror to fight as you wish. While doing and breaching location. Okay, so so she just takes one damage which she can put on Mr. Rook. So not a big deal. Okay. So now what are we doing? I think we're just getting clues. Let's see, does Zoe have things? She could definitely get rid of this uh, Ace of Rods to get rid of one of those. I'm not gonna get rid of the Hallowed Mirror because that'll be useful. I'm not gonna get rid of the Enchanted Blade. Okay. We're not going to worry about Rack just yet. I want to go in and deal with that Covenant Initiative and get the uh, the Silver Twilight. But how many we need? We need we got two, and we just need six clues. So we should be able to, to shore this up pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going through all this stuff in my head. But uh, so Zoe is going to move here, and she is going to uh, ditch the Ace of Rods. Hey, a good use for the Ace of Rods to, to uh, put one here. Okay. Then she will shortcut into Daisy's location. So she's taken one action so far. She will take a second action to grab a resource. And a third action, she's going to play her Hallowed Mirror. And so we will go ahead and grab the Soothing Melodies and shuffle them in. And then, yeah, she could heal some of Daisy's horror, which makes it easier to get the breaches off of the Silver Twilight Lodge. Okay. So, uh, Daisy is going to Encyclopedia. Her, actually, yeah, we don't want to miss her rook because we don't want to pull that stubborn detective. Um, so, we will uh, Encyclopedia ourselves. We are 567 to beat 3. Okay, that is minus two. So she gets a 
Okay. Doing it again. So I need to be three. It's minus two. She gets a clue. One, two, three, four. We can get the victory point for that one, then we'll go down to the church and get those two. I think that makes sense. Okay, she will Pathfinder here, and Zoe will Safeguard. So the Coven Initiate can go on to Zoe, who will use her cross to do the damage to it. So they're both entering at the same location at the same time. Um, I think we will go ahead and take the two Horror and put it on... Brother Xavier, and that will let us generate another clue. Okay, we get seven. Hey, right where we're at. Okay, so we can actually uh, get this now. Okay, so we are uh, three. You're at seven before, up by three. Okay, that is. Minus one, and we get the clue. Awesome. Okay, so uh, Zoe will take a horror from the Covenant Initiate, which is not a big deal. And then we are at upkeep. Zoe will draw a fed worse and a resource. Now I just think we go all out and try to beat this thing if we can. And then Daisy will get, oh, the Stubborn Detective. Maybe next turn we go all out and try to beat this thing. <laughs> all right, and a resource. All right, uh, let's resolve some stuff. The incursions might get crazy now. All right, breach, we get a one, so we're gonna jump there. We could get a doom explosion, we did, yeah. So we have to go ahead and resolve this. So this gets a doom, and then this will get, and that, Puts one here and one here, which creates a doom there, which will then spread to here and to here. We got two here, we got doom there. So, oof. and we get one more. Two. Okay, so. Get it in there. All right, we're at uh, three of what seven? We're okay, I think. I think this should be. And we get coming initiate on to Zoe. We already used Zoe's cross. We did when we came in, so these should be ready. Yeah, so we can use Zoe's cross on this coven initiate to damage. And then we get the demonic piping. So that's going to be the Piper of Azoth. Piper, okay. Well, things just got crazy. So we just spawned Piper of Azoth. He is a hunter. Okay, when the enemy, so his prey is the least remaining sanity, which. I think is going to be uh, see Daisy has four remaining sanity and Zoe has five remaining sanity. So actually is with Daisy. Interesting. Um, but it's uh, when the enemy phase ends, uh, Piper Vazoth attacks each enemy investigator it is not engaged with, regardless of whether it's ready or exhausted. So it's going to do a lot of horror. Okay. And that surged into a century of secrets. Okay, so she's gonna get Mr. Rook's gonna get dead here, unfortunately. All right, so she's at um, she's at three v five. That's a zero, so we discard two cards, and if there's a curse, then that's going to end Mr. Rook. So we get 
That is on Wings of Darkness and a Hunting Night Gods. No curse. So, okay, good. We're okay. At least one thing went right. Okay, so what are we going to do? I think Zoe just has to go first. There's just no way around it. So, okay. The first thing Zoe's going to do is she's going to go after this stubborn detective. So she will she's at four, five, six, minus one, so Okay, we're not gonna go after the stern initiative first. We'll go after the, the um we're gonna go after the covenant initiate first. As we're at four, five, six, minus five to be two, or if I three seems good. All right, that is minus three, five eighty two. So it's a dead eye. Okay, so we can uh, we don't need to heal or anything like that. Okay, next. So that was with the racked. So we were at four, five six five to beat two. Yeah. All right. So now we're actually at six to beat three on stubborn detective using the enchanted blade. Six to beat three. Okay, that is minus two, and we will use a charge. We will heal horror and draw a card. Get another brother Xavier. That sermon detective is dead. So that is cool. Okay, we have one last action. Is the uh, Piper, yeah, this is not. Okay, so uh, Zoe will Take a damage on Brother Xavier to engage the Piper of Asboth. You know, actually, interestingly enough, I used my cross on the Coven issue she drew, but I would have had to spend a resource to do it because of the Summer Dector, which I forgot. So we would have no resources, but we will grab a resource when we take the uh, Piper of the Asboth. Okay. So now Daisy. Can get this last clue and do what? We can still work on getting clues. That's that's all. That's what she needs to do. Okay, that is fine. Daisy will boost her intellect, so she's at five, six, seven to beat four. Okay, that is minus one. So she gets a clue. Now we have to immediately advance. All right, so we get uh, Annette Mason. She has 12 health. She's alert hunter. She gets negative two health for each clue controlled by an investigator. After one or more breaches are placed on her location, each investigator must either take one damage or one horror. She has three damage and one horror and so she is here at Hangman's Hill. And she's who we gotta fight. And then we get the new uh, get the new act. The nightmare will not end until you stop the one behind it, Annette Mason and the spirit which possesses her. The world is falling apart all around you, and the coven is only bringing the end closer. So I've still got the uh, remove three breaches from this act, place one clue in a random location. So if Mason is defeated, advance. Okay. So we have two more actions with uh, Daisy. So she is going to Pathfinder out of here. Oh, so we, we want to be there to boost Zoe's fight against the Piper of Asthma. So is, is getting out of here really a good idea? Before she moves, she's going to do Mr. Rook, look nine deep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We got. Uh, what would we want? Another Pathfinder. Yeah, that will let her get those clues and get back. I don't think her intellect, boosting her intellect, is really all that huge right now. So, we will grab the other Pathfinder. I think. But 
but leaving doesn't make the most sense. Well, we want to leave because we don't get hit by the thing. Yeah. Okay. So we will, uh, yeah, we did this little pathfinder. And we will move, that's our second action, and then we will investigate. We're at uh, 5673. Okay. Or, no, no, okay, wait, 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 wait. We'll go here. And we will ditch one of our tarot's. So we have a breach. We have another tarot. Where we do. Yeah, that one's central, so it's pretty bad. So we'll. And then, yeah, we'll. we'll uh, I just realized that, uh, you know what? Zoe can safeguard and go with her. Yeah. Oh, wait, but if we do that, then, yeah, then, then she'll get whacked by the. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Okay, that's fine. Well, hmm. Can, can, Daisy could take two horror. That's not a big deal. We could put it on, we could prop, is it pop Xavier. Maybe that's just better to be more efficient. No, we'll just do this, it's fine. Okay, um, so we are going to uh, investigate. Sorry if that was confusing, but what she did was, uh, she encyclopedia got that clue, uh, then she Pathfinder moved, threw away cards, and went up here, and this is her last action. She's at 4v, she's at 73, up by 4. Get this clue, which will do basically a 2 effective damage to Annette. So. Okay, minus 2. She got that clue. So Annette is now down to 10 health left. Alright, so now it's upkeep. Um, we'll put a damage on Xavier. Actually, she'll go ahead and take the damage. Piper of Asdoth will hit Zoe. But Zoe has had worse. She's going to have had worse. To get 2 resources instead. It. Three resources. Okay. And then she will draw a card and get meat cleaver. Oh, uh, and that should have moved here. And we'll get a resource. Meat cleaver is not helpful, but maybe it's good for icons. Oh, we use a, a charge from Mr. Rook. Okay, a secret. All right, she will get a card. She gets deny existence. Okay. And a resource. Now we got to resolve, which is hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Okay, we got two, so we got one that's on Daisy's location, so she might be able to get rid of that. And then we get that is nine, just not valid. Three, okay, it's there. So that one might bust, and one. All right, so this is the three, that's the one, and this is the three. And right, let's get some cards. Daisy will get, or Zoe will get Hunting Night Gaunt. Of course she will. Okay, Zoe's Cross is what it is. Do we want to cross that thing? I think we do. Might as well. And then... We get this Chaos Manifest. This could cause bad things for, uh, for Daisy. Do we throw the other worldly codex at it? Because I don't think we're going to be playing it. We will. Okay. So we're going to commit that. So we, can, we have another one we can pull out. Okay. So we're at 4v3. That is two, so we gotta resolve two. Okay, we get an eight, so we're gonna put one down here. And zero doesn't matter. An eight we just did. And a zero and a six. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we want Daisy to go first. She can get rid of a knowledge's power. Does she want to? 
don't think so. We can get rid of a premonition. Now we'll do two of these. We're not going to place the clue yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and place the clue. Why not? All right. So we'll place a clue. So that was action one for her. Eight. So we got three clues down there. That is the place we want to be for sure. Okay. Um, okay, she'll spend her three resources for her second action. I Pathfinder. And she will Pathfinder, Pathfinder into here. Then she's going to Knowledge is Power to use her Encyclopedia. And then she will Encyclopedia. Actually, uh, while she's still here, before she does that, she'll Mr. Rook. Cross charge, and we'll look at my cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. see. We just need one willpower icon. So we'll grab read the signs. Yeah. Read the signs. So she'll take an action to discard that to get rid of these two. There. And then yeah, she'll do the knowledge's power and and then her regular use of the encyclopedia to uh, boost Zoe's combat by four. Because we just want to kill this uh, Piper of Asthoth. Yeah. All right. So Zoe is going to. Uh, she will take a horror on the meat cleaver. So she's at four. Combat five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus a vicious blow. This is it 10 v5? Do three damage. Minus four. Okay, she does three damage. Piper of Asthoth. Okay. She is going to take another horror. She's up by four this time. Minus two. That is two more damage too. Piper of Asloth. All right, and then she will use the Enchanted Blade for her last attack. She's at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at ten, B five. Oh, -ho! well, I chose wisely. All right, we're definitely using a charge off the Enchanted Blade. So that puts the Piper of Azathoth into the victory display. That's two victory points. Happy with that. We get to heal a horror <coughs> and draw a card, which is daring. And that is that. Okay. So she will take, Zoe will take um, uh, a damage, or she's taking a horror. Dam we'll, we'll put the damage and the horror from the Hunting Night Gaunt onto Brother Xavier, which will kill him, and then we'll do two damage back to the Hunting Night Gaunt. Or we could have it just kill the Covenant. Nah, no, no reason to. All right, then we take a damage, or we take a horror from the Covenant. Is fine. All right, cool. Oh, we didn't look at racked, did we? I forgot about racked. And the, this ran out of cards, so Zoe would have taken two horror from that. Would we have killed? Would that we have killed her? We probably would have just put the horror on Xavier earlier.
So I'm not sure how all that worked out. But yeah, she would have to... I, I forgot about these cards. So we do have uh, this evil past. She would have had to test when that came out. And Xavier still would have been around, so she would have been at 5v3. Which is minus one. So we would have actually passed that. Let's... Um, So we've taken the two horror. We took. Oh yeah. So we just took this horror from the Coven Initiate. So it all yeah, it all worked out. We wouldn't have died. Okay. We actually have a dodge in our hand, so. And Annette, Annette should have should have uh, hunted. Which is a thing. Alright, so. Zoe will get a card. Smite the Wicked. Okay, we're going to discard until we get an enemy. All the enemies are on the board, apparently. Something Night Got. Here, we'll Smite the Wicked. I'm not sure that we can actually take the time. We'll probably have to deal with... Uh, so we're getting another trauma. Okay, and then Daisy, we'll get and then Mr. Rook. Okay, not too bad. All right, let's do these things. Do the uh, breaches. We get, and that is a two. So bring one there. Here and three. Okay, three's not too bad. That's that's one. Okay, now we got to draw card and counter cards. Okay, uh, wait. So we will get terror unleashed. There's no breaches in our location. Place one breach, and then we're gonna take. So that's fine. I'm just gonna breach here. We take a damage, which we can afford right now. And then the evil past. Okay, so this is actually pretty good for her right now. So how does Daisy not have a resource? She would have at least gotten a resource. We didn't spend it on anything. Okay. So she can kill the Hunting Night Gaunt. Yes, okay. So I think Zoe goes first. She will uh, kill the Cup Initiate. She's, a, she's still one down because of this Racked. So I forgot about the Racked. But it is what it is. That last turn, I hope that wouldn't have made a difference. But I don't think that I pulled the negative five, so I think we're okay. All right, so we're at four, five, we're at four V. And this is actually right. Okay, we're at four V two. Do we have anything we can boost throw at it? Oh, we can throw a daring at it. Okay, we will actually, we'll, uh, We'll hit it at the Hunting Night Gaunt. So we're at four, five. Actually, the Meat Cleaver's worth two right now. Okay, so four, five, six, five. Okay, we'll just go five v two on the Covenant ship. Yeah. Okay, that is minus two. Covenant is dead. And she heals horror. Okay. I guess we'll save our daring. We're now at four, five, six to beat three. One damage on hunting my thought.
That's minus two. Hunting Night Gaunt is dead. I'm going to kill another horror. Okay, and then uh, last action, we will spend three resources to bring out our other Enchanted Blade. And that is her turn. Okay, uh, Daisy. I don't really need to boost her in a length, does she? I don't think so. All right, she will um, Pathfinder here, Pathfinder here, and that Mason. Oh, and uh, of course, we're safeguarding along, as, as you do. And then uh, and that Mason will go on to Zoe. We'll use her cross to do a damage. Mason. And then Daisy will shortcut here. And uh, we have not done anything yet. We will investigate. I guess we'll boost her encyclopedia to the five, six, seven, the one. Minus three. She still has some clue. Okay, and that is having the eight health. We're doing it again. Minus four. So we were still up enough for the clue. And last action, we'll do it again. Elder sign. She gets to draw card for her encyclopedia. She gets her tote bag a little little bit late. Whatever. Okay, um and that is that. She gets this clue. So we have four clues which reduces Annette by uh eight health. So she is now at four health, which Zoe can take out next turn. And of course she'll take a horror from this hunting night gaunt. Hunting night gaunt moves. Uh, Annette will do a damage uh, or attack. Zoe will spend one resource to play dodge. We'll ready everything. Okay, and then uh, Zoe will draw a vicious blow. That's pretty good. She only sees three damage. She can do it in one shot, actually. Okay, and then Daisy gets a ward of protection. So that's nice. Okay. And a resource. Let's do the breaches. We're going to get six. Okay. Put them all there. Okay, three. So we have to resolve an incursion there. Which will put another one here. Okay, and then we'll drain it again. It's eight. So we have one here. We got, we're at one, two, three, four. I think we're okay. I'm doomed. <laughs> he says nervously. Uh, Zoe will get on wings of darkness. Well, we just can't cancel that. Which, eh, moving at this point wouldn't be the worst. But whatever. Nice anyway. Okay, and then Daisy gets a covenant of shit. We have to discard the top two cards of the deck. Okay, so I wanted to kill that Hunting Night Gaunt, but I don't see how we're going to do it. So I don't see us evading a net. This is, this is fat. This is... Let me think if there's a way to do this. I think there is. Are you risking death? Maybe. 
but I want to see if I can do it. Okay, so uh, Daisy will take a horror using Encyclopedia to boost Zoe's fight. Okay, so Zoe's fight is up. Let me take a horror from an initiate. Then we will move and we will safeguard. We take another horror from that. And then we will shortcut into this location. Hunting Night God will go on to Zoe. And we use Zoe's cross to do a damage to it. Let me make sure I've calculated her health right. She's at 12 health, but we're minus 2, 4, 6, 8, plus 1 damage. So her health is at 4. She, yeah, we one more 3 hit, in which we have a uh, vicious blow in her hand. So if all goes well, we should be okay. All right, so, and then she'll take one more horror. Oh, man. No. I guess we won't do anything else now. Maybe we should try to evade the Coven Initiate before we left, but whatever. Um, oh, we have uh, we have the non-existence. Okay, so we will take a horror and engage Annette Mason. And then, yeah, we can take the last horror on the Coven. We can deny existence. So this is just in case Zoe misses, that uh, that we can deny existence on the uh, Annette Mason attacking her and kill Mr. Rook and survive. Okay, so the first thing she did was the encyclopedia was free, then she moved, she did that, and then she engaged. And she took a bunch of horror. Okay, that's fine. We actually would have done better if I, uh, I just tried to evade the coming initiative, but whatever. Okay, so... Uh, now it's Zoe's turn. So Zoe's going to try to kill the hunting Night Gaunt. She's at four, five, six, seven, eight, and then seven. So seven to beat three is good on the uh, hunting Night Gaunt. Because they're racked. Four, five, six, and yeah, seven to beat three. We get the minus one. So we will take a charge off of this. And do two damage to the hunting night gaunt. This is the one that has Smite the Wicked. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> All right. Uh, Racked no longer applies. We're at four. Five, six. Four, five, six from the encyclopedia. Seven, eight. Eight, B, three. To do damage to the hunting night gaunt. That is, okay, there is, it's minus four. So we were at, okay, so Hunting Night God is gone. We avoid the, the mental trauma. Okay, and now for our last action, we will commit Daring. We're using the Enchanted Blade. We're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We need to use the Daring, actually. Right. There was actually no reason to engage Annette with her. Okay. <laughs> because we're giving her retaliate and we'll just die. But whatever. Um, so we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we're at eleven versus five. Oh, and we're at twelve versus five with a vicious blow. Do we need that? Yeah, because we want to beat the negative five. Four. Five, six, seven, yeah, so they're using the daring, using the vicious blow. And we don't have another fight icon. Or, instead of the daring, just because we don't want, we'll, we'll actually, Daisy will commit her tote bag in case we just don't want to retaliate, right? Okay, so Daisy's tote bag will give her that icon. So she's at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, B5. 10 to 5 let's go with a vicious blow. So do three damage and that will kill her. Okay, that is minus four. 
She takes three damage, which puts her up to. She's at. She's got, and her health is twelve minus eight, so she's got four health left. She is dead. So she goes into the victory display, and we advance. Somehow, despite all odds, you have managed to defeat the resurrected spirit which torments Annette Mason. She passes out and collapses onto the ground, but the revenant inside forces her eyes open and pup puppeteers her body in a lurid display. Fools! The ragged, disembodied voice of Keziah declares through Annette's lips as she raises one rises once more. You are not but insects. I have seen the truth. I have seen the face of chaos itself, and you will soon be a part of it. Now, come. Join me, kneel before the black throne, and be one with the universe. You shudder as the words reach your ears. Nothing she says makes sense to you, but you can tell her intent is dark and wicked. Leave this place, you muster up the will's command. Go back to the beyond from which you were summoned, and never return. R1! Great! Well, this was better than the last one. Sorry if I was a little bit janky at the end. I was just trying to... I, I probably should have just thrown a bunch of icons to try to evade this coming initiate. But, uh, yeah, it worked out. I just, I didn't want to, uh, end up, like, missing a, 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 I wanted to not take the horror from Zoe's weakness, and so probably threw more into it. And again, sorry if I had mistakes, there's so much to keep track of, um, in this, uh, in this scenario, in, uh, TCU scenarios. But anyway, we got, uh, one victory point here, we got two victory points Three, four, five, six. So six victory points going into before the Black Throne, where I will certainly get thrashed. So, uh, such is life. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time on Winging It.